Hi Dave, I'm really enjoying the Rainsong WS1000 guitar that you can see behind me. Can you tell us about the original guitar and how it came about? Hi Aaron, I'm really happy to hear that you're liking the WS1000 1999 reissue. Um, that's a, it's a great guitar. And that guitar came about um, because it was the first Rain Song to use the projection tuned layering patented process that we, we started. The original Rain Song guitars were made like wood guitars, but with carbon fiber parts. So they had the, the standard bracing and, and all of that. And Ashvin, who's the, the president of the company now, he got to looking at that and got to thinking about the fact that we weren't really utilizing all of the benefits of carbon fiber. So he worked on developing a new process and that became the patented um, projection tuned layering process. So we don't have braces in the guitars anymore and that made it so the guitars can really resonate. And that was really where the or what we know as Rain Song today, that's where it would really started. And that guitar had the original N1 neck, um, and it had the the Wind Song body shape, which we now call the WS. So that's where that guitar came from. That's really interesting how you removed all the traditional bracing and everything from the guitar. But why did you decide to bring this exact model back into the lineup this year? The WS1000 was initially you know, a single model. And that evolved into the classic series where we had the, the WS, the OM, the Dreadnought, the Jumbo, and eventually even the Parlor. And we made those guitars basically until 2019. And we introduced the SFT models with the, the spruce soundboard fused to the carbon. And those required more time in production and everything so we we kind of cut the line down a little bit we discontinued the classic series and and a few others and we just kind of felt like now would be a good time to bring that guitar back I'm showing the specs on the screen right now from the website and what jumps out to me the most is that the neck is an N1 neck. I've heard a lot of people talk over the years about they want a rain song with the N1 neck. So what is the N1 neck and how does it differ to the N2 neck? The N1 neck was the original neck on, on that original WS1000. Um, back then it was just the neck. It wasn't, it didn't have a different name. Then later we introduced the N2 neck, which had a little, little deeper profile. It's a, a modified U. Um, that also has a truss rod and we sold both necks side by side for a while. And then the N1 neck went away and it was gone for about six years. We reintroduced the 12 string uh, a couple years ago, and that's made with the same process as the N1 neck. So we brought the N1 neck back as well as an option. And it has only been an option. So this was, is the first model where the N1 neck is standard. And if you order a WS1000 reissue, it comes with an N1 neck and it just, that's how it's made. What is the price of the WS1000 reissue? And can anything be changed or customized on the guitar? The price of the WS1000 uh, 1999 reissue is $24.99. Now we do have an introductory special going that's $500 off, and that is for the WS1000 specifically. We've had people ask if they can get the jumbo version or the Dreadnought or the OM, and those guitars are available. Uh, you could also order it with an N2 neck if you want the, the larger profile, um, but the the $500 discount on the introductory offer is specifically for the WS1099 reissue. That's great, Dave, and thanks for your time today. Where can people go to get more information on Rainsong Guitars and to get in touch with you directly? Thank you, Aaron. I always enjoy talking with you, and uh, you know, we can go on for, for hours. <laughs> but if you have any questions about the WS1000 1999 reissue, you can go to our website, rainsong.com. Uh, you can email me directly, Dave at rainsong.com. And, you know, you can also find anything about the full line of Rainsong guitars there. And I look forward to hearing from you. Mm -hmm.